Hello and welcome to week eight. The topic this week will be mergers and sales of business entities. So what we're going to look at, what we're going to focus on, the learning objectives will be understanding the different types of buying and selling businesses, uh, the legal considerations, uh, asset versus stock sales, and the benefits and risk of mergers. We have uh, um, several different methods of business selling or sales. You have a private sale. I sell my business to an individual. Uh, don't sell it on the public exchange, so that's a private sale. We have an initial public offering or IPO when large companies tend to go public, which means their stock is made available on the open market or the stock exchanges. That is considered an IPO. I can have a stock sale. Uh, I am simply selling the stock in the company, not the underlying assets. If the business is not doing great, meaning revenue-wise, the stock isn't really worth much, but there is value in the assets, meaning the equipment, the machinery, etc. I might do an asset sale and Another option would be to merge two entities into one. Let's first look at a private sale. The buyer in a private sale offers cash, stock, or even debt uh, in exchange for a controlling interest in stock or assets. Uh, advantages would be immediate liquidity for the seller. The seller's getting cash, typically. Disadvantage uh, less potential for profit than an IPO. IPO, initial public offering. Company and shareholders work with the SEC, which is the Securities Exchange Commission, to disclose information to the public and then you know, offer the stock for sale on the public exchange. Advantage, access to capital markets and liquidity. Um, high regulation would be the number one um, disadvantage. Next, let's look at a stock sale. With a stock sale, the buyer will purchase all shares or equity of target company. When you purchase 100 shares of the stock, you own figuratively everything within the company because you own all the stock, which represents the value of the business. The advantage is the buyer acquires the assets, but then you also get the underlying liabilities. Asset sale is much different. Buyer picks and chooses which assets to buy and acquire. Okay, Advantage here is ability to avoid unwanted assets and most importantly, liabilities. If I buy the company's assets, I'm not taking on its debts and its liabilities. Uh, often, though, their third-party consents uh, are required, meaning if I've got machinery in my factory, factory which I've purchased um, via loan or other type of financing, I might have to get clearance from uh, that party that I purchased the equipment from to actually sell it. Um, because when I sell you the asset from the company, I'm going to use that to pay off my debtors, etc. Merger. Uh, a company merger is first and foremost voluntary, right? Keep that in mind. Um, where two or more companies combine to form a new legal entity. So voluntary, two or more companies, and they form a new legal entity. Why do companies do this? Uh, increase size, scale, revenue. Enter new markets sell new products or services, reduce cost, improve management, change pricing models, or lower tax liabilities. Merger types. Uh, first, we'll look at a direct merger. Direct merger, if A and B were to combine forces by means of a merger, one of them would continue to exist after the merger, the surviving entity. The other, the merged entity, would cease to exist for example, upon effectiveness of the merger, B merges into and is absorbed by A. So A is the surviving company. So only one survives. 
forward triangular merger, another type of merger. In a forward triangular merger, the target company is merged into the shell company, which then takes on all of the target assets, targets assets and liabilities. The subsidiary survives the merger while the target company disappears. So you have A, B, and you create a shell, and B creates the shell company, absorbs A into it, okay, and A ceases to exist. Reverse triangular, um, another type of merger. A reverse triangular merger is a mergers and acquisition M&A strategy where a company creates a subsidiary to buy another company and then the subsidiary merges with the acquired company. The acquiring company creates a subsidiary, okay? So the buyer, the acquirer, creates a subsidiary. So you got A creates subsidiary B. Subsidiary merges with C, right? They become D. Uh, subsidiary is dissolved and A takes over D. Summary of key methods. Um, comparison of methods. Private sale. Key is liquidity, low risk. IPO key would be access to capital, but it's expensive, right? Stock sale, acquire all assets and liabilities. Asset sale, selective asset acquisition. You do not take liabilities. Mergers, they're, they combine companies. Um, there's three ways of doing that, um, and they're much more complex. There are a lot of workouts to be done.